All right, welcome back to Tucson RV Solar. We are on site up in Oracle. We are working in a storage location and gonna do lithium swap over with this Integra Riata, sweet diesel busher. So why do a lithium changeover? Well, lots of different things to think about. Number one is that big residential refrigerator. So typically these will come with a few uh, 8D size AGM batteries. This one only came with a couple. So he really doesn't have enough battery power to be able to dry camp all night, especially in the heat uh, when that refrigerator is running full speed. So they'd like to do that upgrade. A couple things that we got to worry about. Uh, how does it charge? They got the standard magnum inverter. So we're going to change that to lithium. And then does it have a BIM? Well, this one actually does. So we were able to get in here already once. And you can see right there is the original BIM. We're gonna take that out and put a lithium BIM. And then the batteries are behind this wall right here. Uh, so we'll take those out, remove and replace, and drop 600 hours of epic lithium batteries in. We'll see more here in just a minute. Look at those big batteries. That's what came out of there. Put them together, two six volts equals 400 amp hours. And then we use less space Put in the lithium for 600 amp hours haven't connected them yet because we've got to do something else so we talked about the bim right there we're replacing it with this guy the lithium bim which is essentially a timeshare device uh, it goes back and forth between charging the uh, chassis batteries and then back here to the coach batteries uh, but this is optimized for lithium obviously uh, and what that does is protect your alternator over time especially if you have a low battery condition meaning hardly any amp hours in your batteries, and then you jump in the coach and start driving. Uh, and then it'll, it's gonna charge it over time, and lithium, pretty power hungry, it's gonna ask for more power. So this stops that from happening, protects your alternator. Worst case scenario would be if you're sitting in Los Angeles traffic at rush hour with empty batteries and you didn't have one of these, then your alternator could be at risk. So putting one of these in, great insurance device. Uh, the other option would be taking the BIM out completely and putting in what's called a Victron DC to DC charger. And then you would have a stable 50 amps that you could actually see on your app or nowadays actually on your servo slash touchscreen if you had that installed. So we're going to put this in right now and then connect the batteries and then we'll be off and running. All right. So now we got 600 amp hours of Epic Lithium batteries wired in. Had to make a couple of cables, one parallel cable, where everybody reused the six volt cable. And then we made a longer cable that runs out of this class T fuse that protects their inverter. So now we got the batteries on, got the lithium BIM wiring in place. And now we're gonna go in and do a little bit of programming and he'll be good to go. 